<laughs> God doesn't live in heaven. Where was he when he was creating heaven? It was your prophet Hubert Angel, one of the greatest prophets on the African continent. Prophet Hubert Angel. About the existence of God and heaven. He does not live in heaven. Said the Bible, Ekano. Ne said the Nipa Bibi Adrian Emucho Mugobi said a crystal for say, Nyamu or Hene or because Nyamu or Heaven is here. But Prophet Ibet Angel, which room say, Nyamu on the heaven. Or be much the Tewizia. The more he video the Messrewa, the unsubscribe to the channel and no other Roma, or be what subscribe button so. Now, if you hit on the notification bell for latest updates, now feel free to say, Obey to your comments, and feel free to share more offer any of you. Now, if you sort of us with share media, come to be as well. I want to ask you about the I have one as you obey follow account. And the prophet, you bet, and you're okay. I'm gonna have on the prophet. I can't, I think, say, or make it prophecy about Mahama this coming 24 general election. Be ye or see Mahama a berry and an animal who's been pumping you now. Yeah, then I own you now a joining that prophecy line for Mahama. Prophet Hubert, it didn't can kind and sana charmine also be a be Canadian. Now, Prophet Hubert and Jamaican as him about one ten of my tree be a year 10th October 2024. Now, orient the tree and a topic and a old treat and say the existence of God and heaven and a old tree. We say, Nyame on to heaven. This is to him, not me. Prophet Hubert address it, Nyame on to heaven. Ain't me tell us no. This topic is in my interest. I am sure that it will also be in the interest of my followers. So let me just take the video, come and show it to my members, and let them also draw their comment on that. It the prophet you better end the say nyame unto heaven. God doesn't live in heaven. Where was he when he was creating heaven? But Deuteronomy 26, verse number 15, I want to read it quickly. Look down from thy holy habitation from heaven. What? The Bible is telling us, sir, that God lives where? In heaven. Where does he live? In heaven. It's written there. Yes, sir. And bless thy people, Israel, in the land which thou hast given us. Mm -hmm. Repeat that. Look down from thy holy habitation from oh, heaven. From so God is looking down from heaven. Isaiah 57. Uh, we said from verse number 14, so that we have a certain level of context. And shall say, cast ye up, cast ye up. Prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. For thus says the high and loft one mm -hmm. that inhabiteth eternity, mm -hmm. whose name is holy. Mm -hmm. So we know it's high up. Yes, and habitation inhabit what? Eternity. Mm -hmm. eternity. And thy holy place with him also that is a contrite and humble spirit. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us the people that can dwell with him in heaven. So let's go to Isaiah 66. Verse number one. Thus says the Lord, uh -huh. the heaven is my throne. Mm -hmm. I want you to see, it's telling us God lives where? In heaven. In heaven. Thank you so much. <laughs> Psalm 73, verse number 25. Ah, whom have I in heaven except you? <laughs> Revelation 5, verse number 13. Uh -huh. Every creature which is in heaven and on earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea, all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne. Mm -hmm. And we read it that the throne of God is where? Is heaven. Yes, sir. John 6, are you there? <laughs> Verse number 38. Here it is. Let's go, let's go, sir. I want you to see 38, then I see verse number 28. For I came down from heaven. Mm -hmm. not to do mine own will. This is the Lord Jesus Christ saying mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. that he came down from heaven. from heaven. So we know he is coming from there. Mm -hmm. Verse number 28. Mm -hmm. Then said they unto him, what shall we do that we might work the works of what? Of, of God. God. Watch this now. Jesus answered said unto them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So we believe Jesus, mm -hmm. that he came from heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. If he came from heaven, it means God lives in heaven. heaven. Hebrews 9, 24. Yes, sir. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figure of the true word, but into heaven itself. Mm -hmm. To appear in the presence of God for us. Mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> so definitely, he went where? Heaven. To heaven. Yes, sir. To his father there. Yes, sir. Genesis 1, verse number 1. <laughs> 
In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The mere fact that God can create the heaven, it means he doesn't live there. <laughs> he was somewhere while he's creating. And the Bible says, and the Lord said to my Lord, mm. <laughs> sit thou at my right hand until I make your enemies. Now, if God can talk to himself, that means God came out of himself mm. and faced himself and spoke to himself and then created heaven. Where was he when he was creating heaven? What location is it? The moment we find that location, we find where God is staying. Mm. Ephesians 4 verse number 8. He ascended up on high. He led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Mm. Mm. So the giving of gifts only needed him to arrest the arrest. Mm. Mm. To capture prison and put it in prison and give gifts. And what did he do? Verse number nine. Now that he ascended that it is what it is, but that he is also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. Watch this. He that descended is the same also who what? Ascended. Who ascended. Mm -hmm. And did what? Far above all heavens. <laughs> so did Jesus go to heaven or above heaven? Above. There's above. a scripture. Mm. Mm. He went beyond heaven. <laughs> now, if you think uh. it is just atmospheric heaven, the Bible says all oh. heavens. <laughs> is it the first one, the second one, and third one? Oh. He went up. Oh. So he can do what? Why was he not going to stay in heaven? Mm. There is the reason. Mm. That he might feel all, all things. things. Wow. He's in my head, brother. He's in my hands. He's in this emblem here. He's in my jacket. He's in this room. He's in your house. He's on your dress. Mm. He's on your suit. Mm. He's everywhere. So he can feel all oh, things. Jesus. So the Bible there, before we even prove where God is, the Bible literally tells us why he had to go beyond the heaven. Mm. Mm. But he can feel. He knew if he stayed in heaven, he would not accomplish what he wanted to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Because that event required him to go beyond oh, yeah. heaven. Mm. So he could go back to the original mm. setting wow. where he was when he wow. created the heaven. Yes, wow. So he says, when I created the heaven, the heavens were there. And I started fashioning them and he fashioned them and he fashioned them. Mm. After fashioning them, he said, now, I'll step in. <laughs> put my throne in there. No, he did not say that. Let's read it again in Isaiah 66, verse number 1. I know you didn't read it correctly. No, oh, the throne of God is in heaven. Read it correctly. That says the Lord, the heaven is my throne. No, see, they did not get it. He didn't say in heaven is my throne. No, the heaven. The whole of it. I have a big chair in the studio. You know, you don't expect me to be living in a studio, right? Okay. Mm. <laughs> then I say this forget about my chair mm. the whole studio is my throne my chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it means you rule from that location yeah. mm. does it mean you, you're staying in that location no you rule from rule. yes sir I mean I'm not even dealing with this now mm. cover that, that means what he's talking about is a dimension yes, sir. there is he says if I cast out devils using my finger mm. using the finger of God mm. And then it describes that the finger of God is, act, is the Holy Ghost. Mm. So we know the finger of God is not the finger of God. It's the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So if he says the hand of God, we know it's another dimension. Mm -hmm. If he says my foot, we my know God. it's another dimension. It's my not God. the real foot or the real finger. Wow. 1 Kings 8, 27. <laughs> Will God indeed dwell on the earth? Mm -hmm. uh -uh, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. Will God stay here on earth? No, sir. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain you. Mm. Wow. wow. So the scripture is telling us God is bigger than heaven. Yes, sir. He can't fit in heaven. He can't fit in. <laughs> Psalms 139, verse number 7. Where shall I go from your spirit? Mm -hmm. And whither shall I free from your presence? Flee from your presence? Mm -hmm. If I ascend into heaven, mm -hmm. you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. there. You are there. Mm -hmm. Where is he exactly? All over. Everywhere. Is he in hell? He's everywhere. No, but here he says he is also in hell. <laughs> now you go back to Ephesians 14. He, he that descended mm. is the he same descended. also that ascended. Mm. Far above all heavens. What so he can do what? He can feel, feel all, all things, things, including hell. Mm. 
Behold, if I make my bed in, in hell. In hell. You are there. You are there. there. And here's a question. Where is heaven? You know, please just point as you know what people say. Yeah. Up there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, right now, I'm in Zimbabwe. I don't know the other pastors and leaders here and other uh, members of, of our, and, and citizens of the good news world. You might actually be in Germany. Mm. You see this that we have here. Zimbabwe will be right here. Mm -hmm. Britain will be somewhere here. Mm -hmm. All right? Are you getting this? Yes, yes I'm catching it. <laughs> and Nuvik is right here. So those who say the heaven is upwards, they are pointing. You know we are standing like this, right? We're not standing like this on the earth. We're standing like this. <laughs> yeah. Gravity and all the forces make you think you're standing upright. So you're standing like this. And when you point at heaven, you point it right here. The person in Nuvik is here, he's pointing there. Mm -hmm. The one in America is pointing this side. Where is heaven? <laughs> okay. When you got born again, we pointed where heaven was. Mm -hmm. When we got born again, who did we receive? Jesus. So we received Jesus when we were born again. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's exactly true. Ephesians 1 verse number 2. Please, I want you to read it slowly. Grace be to you and peace from our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, whom we what? We received. The one we received is giving us grace. Verse number three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who has blessed us with spiritual blessings in heavenly places which are in Christ. <laughs> so where is heaven? In Christ. Mm. Who is in you? Christ. So where is heaven? Hey, the prophet, I know what you're saying. I'm going to tell you a comment session. Prophet, I trim. I quote to quote quotations. I say, uh, he was, when he ascended, he was taken far above all heavens. He had no quarter of heavens in you now. So the quote to Isaiah now. I just say, or the nature all heavens. Eighty. Don't hold the nature of all heavens. I know it's in your mind. This is very good, vital, and I mean vibrant question that every Christian should think about. Tell me what you want. Oh, can I say? In terms of prophet, you better enjoy everybody. To you, it makes sense. A task you move, and that's what you want to do. One try, one about a movie. I better to a papa so. Tell your comment section. Ever say she be my crowd.